With hundreds of thousands of Afghans being displaced by the Taliban's recent offensive against government forces, UN aid workers are sounding the alarm on human rights abuses in Afghanistan as civilians, not to mention more than 1,000 UN employees, get caught in the crossfire. UNICEF said today it is outraged by a report that a 12-year-old boy from Shirin Tagab district in Faryab province suffered a brutal flogging by a member of an anti-government uh, group. Women in particular are at risk from violence and the loss of basic rights. A letter signed by prominent feminists and rights activists calls on the Security Council to authorize a peacekeeping force under Resolution 1325 which demands the protection of women in armed conflict. Women are at risk for being women. And we know many of the things that are happening. I will not repeat the lit litany of what has happened to women during the advance. So uh, the primary thing is to get a ceasefire. Betty Reardon, who worked to get the resolution passed in 2000, says it also promises women a seat at the negotiating table. The protection of women in armed conflict is not just some lofty UN ideal. It was enshrined in international law right here by the UN Security Council, which is under increasing pressure to help stabilize the situation in Afghanistan. But the council is unlikely to authorize a peacekeeping force, given that any mission would have to be approved by the five permanent members who all have veto power. There is now a real danger of spread of extremism and terrorism in countries surrounding Afghanistan. There's no doubt about that. Kai Aida is a former UN envoy for the region. He says with the withdrawal of US forces, the Taliban needs extra incentive to negotiate. He's calling on the Secretary General to appoint and the Security Council to get behind a single UN appointed mediator for peace talks. It's been said for a long time that it should be Afghan led, Afghan owned negotiations. Well, that doesn't work, you know? You have to put somebody else in charge here. The council is meeting on Friday to discuss the situation, but civil society groups say it's action, not dialogue, Afghans need the most. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.